What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the same. And right now, I feel like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I am the host of the Inspired Insider podcast where I feature entrepreneurs and founders. This is a little bit different episode than normal. I have my business partner, Rise25, John Corcoran here. And we decided to do look past the past year to see what lessons, what guests we've had on, I've had on that would be interesting to talk about. And before we do that, I am going to put the, give the reins to John. And, but before we do that, this is brought to you by Rise25. And what we do is we help businesses connect to their dream 100 relationships. And we do that by helping you run your podcast. And John, as you, you know, you're like this as well. The number one thing in our life is relationships. And we're always looking at ways to give to our best relationships. So we have not, I've not found anything better over the past over 10 years to give to my relationships and to profile them and have them on my podcast, talk about what they're working on and their thought leadership and um, shout from the rooftops what they're working on to the world. So if you have a question about it and you're like, this podcast thing sounds really good. Well, it's more than just a podcast, right? It is relationship building. It is content marketing. It's all of those things. So check it out at rise25.com. You can email us anytime. We've been doing it for over a decade at this point. So let us know how we can help. John, how do you want to start this? Yes, Dr. Weiss, thank you for having me. And it's a, an honor and a privilege to be your guest interviewer here today. Well, you know, I'm always struck with my podcast. I'm sure you feel the same way when you take the time to go back and look over the list of people who you had a conversation with over the last year by the amazing individuals from Kim Walsh Phillips to Dr. Erica Miller, Ian Garlic, so many great friends and uh, referral partners, strategic partners, peers, people you respect, Chris Mercell of top grading. As you look back over the list, who sticks out? Who's yeah. any particular interviews that come to mind that were really impactful for you? And yeah, I'm gonna way? I'm gonna go through the list and just pick out. Uh, I mean. Obviously, they're all interesting in their own respects, but I'm going to pick out, highlight a couple of them. And if you're watching the video, I'm just doing a screen share of a little bit about this past year and who was interesting. And um, I'll just do a brief, you know, just introduce briefly what was interesting, maybe a story or something like that for each. But, um, you know, we have just, you see on the screen, Dr. Scott Gray and Ed Clay, both in the healthcare space, and they're doing some innovative things as far as um, alternative health, regenerative medicine, all of that. So those are really interesting conversations about what they're doing in the health space. And as we've seen, whenever you're listening to this over the past year, uh, health is in the front of everyone's mind every time they step out the door, every time they get near someone. So check that out. Um, a mutual friend, uh, Craig Weiss, who actually had he, he basically grew a company to a billion dollar valuation. I had some time to spend. three years. Yeah, in a very uh, short uh, so. period of time. Mm -hmm. And they're innovating and disrupting the uh, some in, in the orthodontic space is Retainer Club is a, a subscription for healthcare. So he, I always love listening to innovation and disruption. He's one of those people. Um, same thing, Chris Martinez um, kind of disrupting a model. And he talks about his efforts to um, use amazing talent in other countries like Mexico. And that's a lesson to be learned. Uh, Mitch Russo also about the power of tribes um, and uh, his book in streamlining processes. Um, we talked about John Jantz and duct tape marketing. Just he's been doing it forever, John. I mean, like several decades been teaching uh, businesses about this. I remember seeing his book on the shelf at like a Barnes and Noble. I'm like, that is the best cover ever. It has like <laughs> duct tape on it. I'm like, I want my book one day to have something with duct tape. I don't know why. He, he uh, does. He does. Yeah. He's got a great system for small businesses to implement better and more effective marketing systems. And Richard Rossi, basically in the health niche, I mean, he's, he's done some amazing things in, in taking high achieving individuals, high school students and teaching them. And he has tens of thousands of high school students that they help uh, as far as, you know, they watch a surgery 
on stage live and, and wow. a surgeon talking through it. So I believe um, his, his thing is about taking kids that are into the sciences, into mm -hmm. math, into engineering, Correct. that sort of thing. And, you know, uh, giving them some excitement around it and, um, you yeah, know, their tribe. Right. Yeah. I mean, I hope yeah. one day I could take my kids to one of his large events. And, and then one, of his, and then his more recent project, the Da Vinci 50 is a, around longevity and anti-aging, mm -hmm. I believe. Exactly. Exactly. And then uh, Mitch Kahn, actually local in Chicago, has grown um, the, these cannabis company um, and it really innovated in that space. And a uh, mutual friend, also Robert Hartline, um, actually this year we met him. I think his business was around $10 million and in several years grew it to over $100 million because of our event. No, I'm just kidding. Robert, <laughs> it was just his pure, just grit and drive and everything like that. I mean, he, he is a force to be reckoned with when it comes to amazing, um, amazing guy started selling wireless phones out of the back of the trunk of his car, I think at concerts or something like that. And eventually built this huge chain of, I want to say 50 or 60 or more sprint stores, physical brick and mortar yeah. sprint stores. Yeah. He just sold the company uh, recently. And so I'm sure he's on to his next big thing. I mean, he already has a software company call proof that he's, you know, has been working on for a long time. And then David Long about um, my employees on how do you appreciate and deliver value to some of the most important people in your life, which are your staff that basically make everything work. And we know what like Rise 25, what really makes everything run is our team behind the scenes that um, probably, hopefully we give them credit behind the scenes, but they don't get the outward credit they, they deserve. They so. deserve so much credit. Yeah. yeah, we really are so grateful to them. They do such a great job for ourselves and for our clients as well. Yeah, and um, Alan, I remember, you know, Alan talking to him and these are going into the other year. So I'm gonna, you know, skip over some of these, but these are all interesting. Joey Gilkey talking about sales, uh, Moise Navone talking about, um, you know, Mobileye and the journey of Mobileye. So um, I'm going to go forward since we're going forward. Oh, or you in just class. skipped over Jason Swank there, of course, who's, you know, it's amazing because um, he has had such a big impact for ourselves, for us on our business. And to think that you interviewed him in this past year. And then he's become such a great mentor and referral partner. And we participate in his communities, uh, belong to his mastermind, so many different things. There's that, another one coming up, by the way. I mean, this is like one of them. I have them coming up again because I featured them again because they've been buying agencies. So, um, Oren Claff, pitch anything. I mean, this guy's intense. If you watch this interview, I, I encourage anyone to watch the first five minutes of the interview where he... I, I'll just leave it at that. It, it's it's super intense, and uh, uh, just listen to. He's a little contentious He's, right from the get go. No, I mean it. It was just I didn't find it uh, contentious in the fact, but he just challenged some of the previous guests that I have yeah. had on on the on my intro, which was interesting. Um, Dave Woodward, this this interview was amazing because he walked through the book funnel. If anyone's heard of Click Funnels. Um, you know, he is the chief revenue officer and partner of ClickFunnels and he walked through their funnel. He walked through one of their funnels actually, and it was fascinating to see what they do. Um, and then Jonathan Dane, again, a uh, marketing agency, uh, talking about growing from zero to eight figures. Um, Ian Garlic, another friend, talked about storytelling. You know, that's the heart of, you know, the podcast, it's the heart of even marketing is storytelling. So I encourage people to listen to that interview with Ian. And we talked about how his dad started a restaurant where they had live dolphins in it. In, in and, Minneapolis, no less. Uh, yeah. In Wisconsin. Yeah, Wisconsin. yeah Wisconsin. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, talk about a story to tell about your business. You come and see the live dolphins while you eat dinner or something, you know? So, <laughs> it and great. it was inside a bathhouse. Is they, they bought out a bathhouse, turned it into a restaurant and live dolphins in it. You'll have to listen to the story. We have Nick Rocco of Achieve Next, who, you know, I, I joke around with, with Nick, like he's one person connected to pretty much anyone in North America because they help, they have this amazing network of C-suite executives, you know, um, from COOs to CHROs to CFOs 
you name it. And um, they do some amazing work with executives. And, and that was part of your top giver series. You did a number of great series in the last year, top agency yeah. series. You did an Israeli VC series. Talk a little bit about yeah. the approach behind doing Yeah, you could see, series. you know, uh, that's a good point. Thanks for bringing that up. Uh, top agency series. Um, and there was a top giver series, which we'll get to. And, and I did a lot of really interesting series. It's really, you know, combined with what topics am I really interested in? What topics do I really want to go deeper in? And what kind of category do I want to learn more and be connected with on a deeper level? And, you know, I did a top Israel series, uh, leader series, as you could see, uh, Dr. Erica Miller, um, who survived the Holocaust and was in the Israeli Air Force and had an amazing, and she opened a chain of 40, you know, uh, health clinics with 40 clinicians. And she is, I, I can't remember how old she is now, but she's a force to be reckoned with no matter how old she is. You know, oh. she could probably run circles around a 21 year old. <laughs> and David Gonzalez, um, also in the Giver series, talking about what he has been working on and uh, about his, we have, we had him at one of our events years ago, John, and I still watch that. And, and it's, um, it was about how do you give someone, how do you get someone to give them the keys to your phantom car? I'm not a car person. Do you remember Royce, what it yeah. was? Yeah, it was, he was, you know, if you walk up to someone and you ask them, can I have the keys to your Rolls Royce? Of course, they're not going to do it, but he kind of laid out how to convince people to essentially, <laughs> Yeah, you know, give you something of tremendous value um, by leading with delivering value to them. Yeah, it was such a good talk. And so you could find that, I believe you could, if you go to Rise 25 and search it, it's on there. Um, and Josh Fonger, you know, part of the podcast is like, what do you want to learn from? And, and when the kids go virtual schooling, I go, who's an amazing business owner? who knows how to homeschool their kids because in this day and age, whenever you're listening to this again, like you are forced during, during the COVID time to homeschool your kids. I'm like, who's done this? Who knows what the heck they're doing with this? And he actually, if you listen to that, the first 15 minutes is I'm asking him questions about how do you educate your kid? How do you homeschool your kids? Cause that's actually what they do even pre COVID. That's, you know, how they, actually school their kids um, and it, it brings up a great point we're always telling people to not underestimate the power of using a podcast to educate yourself you know it's really professional development in many ways personal yeah. and professional development which doubles as content marketing yeah and we go into his business and he's like worked the system he's taken over from sam carpenter you know, i followed his work even back to when we had sam carpenter and mixergy years and years ago and josh has kind of taken and run with the work the system and the next is paul jarrett paul jarrett we met at a conference you actually met him first Jeff. yeah we met him at uh the um the retail, retail x. x conference yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and huge guy used to play football for university of nebraska and then somehow he ended up in the um, subscription box business, doing subscription boxes, and then started a white label service and worked with companies like, you know, Disney and other yeah. large companies to manage yeah. like hundreds of thousands of boxes being shipped out each week. He talked about growing up on the wrong side of the tracks and not having a lot and, and how it's affected him and how his work ethic is and what he did today. So that was really interesting. James Thompson, James is another force to be reckoned with, actually. You know, like, I don't know how the, he gets so much done in a day, okay? Um, and we talked about, you know, how the crisis, the logistics, you know, were affected with coronavirus and how it affected Amazon sellers. And he talked about how they help businesses to establish their brand and become unbeatable on Amazon. And he was actually... You know, he was actually worked for Amazon and he yeah. developed the initial fulfillment by Amazon. The initial FBA helped develop that, actually, yeah. um, huge, which, you know, Amazon dollar. sellers, he helped Amazon sellers generate an extra, you know, billion dollars in annual sales for Amazon or whatever. Yeah. So and that's too, a great example. Bad. I mean, James has been such a great advocate of ours, collaborative partner. We have worked with him to, you know, when we did in-person events, we did them collect collaboratively with him. Um, we help them with their podcast. So there's so many different ways that we have, that has been such a powerful 
valuable relationship for us and for him. Yeah. Yeah. And Chris Marceau of uh, top grading, you know, in some, in a lot of circles considered the gold standard for hiring. And I remember listening to that book years ago and I didn't even realize he's in my backyard. And so uh, he had some really great advice around hiring top talent and keeping top talent. Yep. And yeah. And we, um, again, another example of taking him further because I just booked him to be a speaker on a panel that I'm moderating for an EO Accelerator um, yeah. event coming up in a few weeks. Yeah, and always looking at a way to give to our guests. You know, you just booked him on a panel. I just actually this morning introduced him to another podcast that he could be featured on just to get his message out to more people. So always look at a way to how do you deliver value to your guests when they have when you have them on. Bill Estab, uh, I've been following his work for decades in the chiropractic space. Actually, he's a pioneer in the in the patient education space. So he was really interesting to talk to about what they're doing lately. And then um, David Delaney of Tenbound, same thing. He does a research and advisory, and he was talking about all the different tools and software and services that. Uh, companies can be using, whether it's an agency or software. And so it was interesting to hear the resources and get his take on that. Um, Wayne Deering uh, also talked about fulfillment and working with some of the big companies. I'm always impressed by Ed O'Keefe, you know, besides running, um, you know, his company, Wake Up Foods, you know, he has seven kids. Okay. That, that's enough said. Right. How, how do you do just do that uh, alone? But he's, he's got, impressive guy. I, you know, wake up waffles. They're a healthy version of, of waffles. And he's, you know, uh, taught me a lot. His book, Time Collapsing, I read. And, and he really goes through a lot of amazing strategies uh, there. And, and Chris Snyder started Binks.com and uh, the Snyder Show on podcast. Uh, he's also kind of a no BS type of guy. So I was like talking to Chris cause he just delivers it straight. He's like, no BS. Here's how it is. If you like it, fine. If you don't fine, I don't care. I, I just checked out banks.com the other day. He's really built out that site site nicely. It's becoming quite a resource. Mm -hmm. Oh, totally. I, it's total street cred too. You own banks.com. <laughs> yeah. Know? Uh, uh, Ian Wyatt. This guy's a wealth of, in, you know, a wealth of information. This guy, you know, he does, he does investment research. And when he presents a case for investing in a stock and they only talk about high growth. Uh, every time I talk, I feel like I'm buying a different stock because he's so convincing because he brings in the research. Yeah. Right. And so I definitely listen to that because I ask him about stock tips and uh, Chris Dreyer also. I, this is an example of premium. You know, rankings.io is a premium service. He serves and his mission is serving elite personal injury law firms. And it's also a lesson in messaging because he's very clear on who he works with. Like there's some sites you go to, John, and you don't have experienced this. I have no idea what they do. I don't know who they serve. Been guilty of it Chris, myself, yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. Chris, it's like, it slaps you in the face. He's so good at messaging because he's niched down. And I think, I don't know when his book's coming out, but he's got, he kind of goes contrarian. He goes right to the niche. Like you need to niche down as much as humanly possible. Yeah. And Don Houtman, um, Don is a light, he's retired. Um, I keep bringing him out of retirement to keep asking him questions about copywriting and direct response, but he actually helped us when we, if you aren't, uh, email us if you're interested in hearing more about our physical, as John says, pen and ink. Well, it's, I don't know if it's pen, but it's ink newsletter. It's a physical newsletter that actually you receive in the mail that actually you can touch and feel. It's not a digital newsletter. Don has been doing that for decades, like a long time. And he started Speak Spanish like a diplomat that sold tens of millions of dollars at that program based on... Mm -hmm you know, his copywriting and his ads. And um, this interview is, um, if you are into messaging and direct response, which we all should be, Don's interview will not disappoint. Um, getting things done. Uh, this is part of the Sweet Process series. 
you know, Owen at Sweet Process has also been an amazing advocate and they basically um, help you systemize your business with a software that helps you, you know, make sure you have something that can, all, your whole staff can use and implement checklists and, um, you know, so you can onboard staff, existing staff, hire staff, um, and train people in a very efficient fashion to save you time. And I just have to say, that's such a great example of, you know, getting to speak with someone who you admire or whose book you've read or a speaker or a thought leader using the podcast. Cause you know, a, a busy guy like David Allen, super busy, he's got all kinds of, you know, people requesting a piece of his time and people who pay him for, for his time, you know, for strategic advice Yeah, and such a privilege to be able to talk to someone like that. Yeah. So part of the sweet process, David Allen, getting things done, you know, also about being more productive, the Israel business series, again, uh, Laron Rose, this is interesting. And I, I kind of went on, um, he is a tech entrepreneur, VC, invest in a lot of companies, some of the best and the brightest in Israel, which is, uh, there's a book called The Startup Nation, and it shows how per capita, Israel should, you know, I don't know if it's the size of New Jersey or something, but it has these amazing companies, Nobel Prize winners, and what is the difference? What is coming out of Israel that's creating something in the waters that they're innovating? And so I, I wanted to kind of go deeper into that. The Dave DeRocher of the Other Side Academy, this was also a kind of a heart-wrenching story. He talks about his, you know, when he got arrested at age 13, when he was 38, he'd been in prison four times for a total of 15 years. And wow. he talked about turning his life around. It involves choppers trying to hunt him down while he was on the street. And he tells a story and what he does with the Other Side Academy, which is providing a place for um, people who were in jail to help turn their life around and um, actually do this entrepreneurial endeavor. So I'm going to have to listen cool. to that because I see he went to Delancey Street, which is here in San Francisco, which they have a restaurant and they also have movers, I know, Correct. which is 100% Correct. staffed by ex-convicts. That's exactly. So yeah. what they did was that he was at Delancey Street. He, they took that model and started the Other Side Academy. Mm. And cool. yeah, and he talks about it. exactly right. I know we're running a little short on time. Any yeah. line, final ones? You yeah, I'll just um, Yuri Adoni again. Um, he talks about mastering Israel's secret rules of, and he has a book about it. And he was at Jerusalem Venture Partners. They achieved over twelve IPOs, thirty you know, M and As, and an exit value of over twenty billion dollars. Nice. Um, and I'll hit a couple. Uh, let's see. Andrew Houston was great. Let's see. I've read, I think I've listened to all of Mike Michalowicz's books. So that was a good one. Um, Steve Adams, I think has been a huge impact with Tiger. I can uh, say for a fact, he's been a huge impact on your, on you personally. What have you because, seen? Well, you went through his program. He had a great program for improving habits and habit development. And, and now we're, you know, honored to be helping him to launch a podcast. Yeah. I mean, it's a case where you have someone on you, you want to really learn from them. And then you also become their clients and refer people to them. I think I've referred a number of people to him. He's how a big initiative for me was to have better sleep habits. I have pretty good eating habits and other things, but my sleep habits are horrendous. So tiger, I think they call them tiger medical, but tiger neuroscience, uh, tiger medical Institute, check them out. Um, he helped turn my sleep. I wouldn't say all cold, totally around, but, um, much, much, much better. Um, let's see. I'll, I'll just talk about some themes really quickly, John. Like you said, I, I did a theme on the top givers. I did a theme on uh, top Israel business series. Um, Dan Cashel, again, just featuring your best, the people you admire and, and the people that you want to give to. And Dan is one of those people. Um, let's see. Kim Walsh Phillips as well. Let's see. Who else it would be interesting for people? I mean, listen. They're obviously all interesting. Again, this, this guy created a company that uh, Yossi Vardy, he's renowned in Israel as been in the tech industry for over 50 years. And they created a company that had over 100 million users back in that day. That's you know huge. I mean, back in th this day, it's huge. And AOL eventually bought it for $400 million. Not too shabby. Not um, too bad. And 
There's a guy named John Corcoran right here who talked about how hey, to cold it. email any VIP. Um, and, you know, I think the sessions we do together, we really dig deep into relationships. And, you know, this one was about how do you cold email any VP, VIP? So check that episode out. Um, John Warlow, I know you love John Warlow's oh, book. I did to, to his sell. book and his, and his podcast is excellent yeah. too. Um, let's see. A D was great. Michael Gerber was Michael also Gerber. a good one. Yep. If you haven't checked out the E myth, um, let's see who else do we have. Uh, I did, you know, I'm like, who who doesn't get the voice out there, right? And so I decided to do um, a top black business leader series and feature some of the top black business leaders around and. Um, Chris Gandy was one of those people actually played professional sports and how he transitioned from sports to business. And that was a really interesting one. Um, I mean, there, I could say something great about all this. I'll, let me take to, uh, Dr. Hobie for a second, who is blind and I'm, I'm just astounded of what he's been able to accomplish in general. And then to think that he is blind, he would say it's an advantage in many ways, uh, in some ways than disadvantage. Uh, there's the Jason Swank one, John, about yep. growth or acquisition. That was a really, really interesting one. And, um, you know, I'll take it to present day because um, I know we have to wrap up. Um, present day, this is, you know, some of the interesting ones there, John, you made another appearance. Uh, you are probably the most guest on my podcast. <laughs> it, it also, I mean, this, you know, Robert Wallace, I, maybe just end on Robert Wallace. This interview was, I mean, talk about a rags of riches story going from the Baltimore projects in poverty, racial segregation. He, he talks about Dr. Martin Luther King. He talks about, you know, because, you know, we, you know, John, I don't know if you want to talk about your thoughts. You were at the White House when the Capitol was, uh, I don't know if you'd call it invaded. He was actually in D.C. at like with I think within a few blocks of when that was happening. And he talked about Martin Luther King's speech um, and he talks about listening to. I said, what was most impactful about that speech? And he said, actually, Jeremy, there was a rabbi that spoke right before Martin Luther King and he talked about. And he was a rabbi in um, Nazi Germany, and he talks about the parallels of what's going was going on in the U.S. to Nazi Germany, and at that time, and then how that parallels what happened with the invasion of the Capitol of like people being silent and not saying anything was um, was the worst thing. So so. Uh all in all a powerful series. It's kind of, I feel like it's like picking your favorite, you know, your favorite child. It's impossible to do. There's so many great, you know, conversations that you had over the course of the last year, Jeremy, where can people go to learn more? Yeah. Check out more episodes of your podcast and check out inspiredinsider.com. Check out rise25.com. You know, we share a lot of um, things on there. And if you are interested in, starting a podcast and it's not just a podcast it's if you want a method to actually give to your relationships then go to rise 25 and email us all right thanks everyone what i got you can't buy it resides between my eyes walk through the fire came out better on the other side see life's like a peach if you find the same right now i'm feeling like a hundred grand <laughs>